Hello and welcome to the Monday Nudge. It's a few weeks since I put a video out and it's because just of the sheer level of business that we've had over the last few weeks. Now, I've also had lots of conversations with people in the M&A community who are out there looking to acquire, build, sell businesses. And I think the biggest challenge that I'm hearing over and over again is that I can't get the deal across the line. Yeah, that's right. Can't get the deal across the line. We've had lots of conversations, but we're not moving it across the line. Now, the fix for that is much simpler than you think. In that, it's really about learning how to do deals with people. Because all of these business owners are people. I know that sounds pretty obvious, but the bottom line is that if you're focusing in on the deal and not the person, that's the biggest reason why it's taking so long to get these deals across the line, if ever. Now, I think the number one thing that we all need to learn, no matter what the business model might be, is how to put a deal that a person, the other person on the other side of the desk, thinks is a good deal. And you can only get to that if you're completely focused in the early parts of the conversation on finding out what makes a great deal from their lens. Now, nine times out of 10, they actually don't know. And it's our job to help them gain clarity, clarity of what it is that they really want and clarity of what a good deal might look like to them, not, not necessarily to us, but to them. If you can focus in and really fine tune those tactical skills in gaining rapport to find out exactly what it is that they really, really want, as opposed to what they think they want. That, my friends, is the holy grail. So if you are struggling to get deals across the line, I highly suggest that you go out and get some sales training. I know everybody fights this about getting sales training. I mean, I've been going to sales trainings for coming on four decades, and I've been teaching people how to become master negotiators for at least the last two decades, going on three decades as, as it happens. And it stuns me at how many people have never took the time out to really learn how to negotiate at a master negotiator level. And that, my friends, is the difference that makes all the difference. I'm still going to sales trainings. Do I learn anything that's brand new? Not often, to be honest, but it's about learning a phraseology, a way of putting yourself across in a way that's so genuine that the other person sees that you are a genuine person. So I hope this will at least trip a couple of people to come and join me on, uh, I think it's the 20, 29th and 30th of this month in Luton at the Dealmaker Training. Two days, the first day, we're going to deep dive into advanced negotiation skills, how to read people, how to find out how they tick, how to get so in rapport within minutes that the other person gains that trust, the trust that you are a genuine person that will help them to achieve what it is they want from their business. Let that be to turn it around, grow it at scale, or build it to an exit. Most people that have been through some training have the tools to do the technical parts of turning a company around. What they haven't learned are those what is called soft skills, but the soft skills are the skills that create deals, that get deals across the line in a much shorter span of time. You see, deals are like concrete in that the longer they take to put together, the harder it is to get them across the line. Um, that's completely borrowed from a friend of mine called Jeremy Harbour, who runs the Harbour Club. He's phenomenal at doing deals. But uh, maybe I can help you to learn a couple of things about getting that deal across the line. So that's it, the Monday morning nudge. Look forward to talking to you soon.